stay there. Feel the wind starting to pick up, and it is going for a chance of a thunderstorm this afternoon. Been some showers and thunderstorms, so I'm going to. It's not that I don't. Think, it's not that I couldn't paddle up into the wind here, but I'm going to uh, be struggling a little bit with the way the weight distribution is in here right now because I don't have my pack, main pack dragging a fish behind me dinner so I'm going to uh, get into the lee of the big island that I'm camped on so downwind behind in the shelter of the uh, island so that when I am paddling back up to my camp I can paddle back up into the wind instead of or back uh, into the shelter of the island instead of straight into this this wind if it really fits up it's not very many uh, it's not very big waves right now, so even though we've got a lot of fetch a long way down the, the uh, lake that runs straight east-west, so the wind's coming down, so this potentially could build into white caps. And this lake is known for it because of the east-west orientation and how long and narrow it is. So there is the potential that it could get windbound, in other words, and I have a hard time getting back to my camp, so I'm going to head back to safety right now. Okay, go ahead.
everybody welcome back to the cabin and welcome back to the campsite so that was a short uh, little canoe trip Callie's first canoe trip actually I didn't realize that she's never been out she's never been out on an overnighter with me surprisingly after three and a half years but uh, typically um, if I'm going canoeing I'm either on a long trip or I'm fishing and ideally having a dog in the canoe while you're specifically fishing is not the most convenient, especially a water dog who wants to jump in the water every chance she gets. But she's done well on the on our uh, short, like one day trips, and uh, and while I'm fishing, so I thought I'll give it a try, and she worked out perfectly. She had a great time. Uh, it was very, I went fairly smoothly. She slept in the tent for the first time, which she wasn't sure about getting into it at first, but then she warmed up to it and then wanted to go into it um, to get away from the bug. So. That worked out well, but this is a long day for me. It, uh, I don't know what time it is now, but we got up at around 5.15. Expecting, according to the forecast, calm weather, like calm uh, uh, wind, no wind, calm water, and a nice sunrise. And surprisingly, it turned out, well, sunrise was okay, but uh, anyway, I thought it was going to be a nice misty, calm morning, and it's not, which means... I had a cold breakfast so I didn't have to take the time to get a fire started and cook my oatmeal. Um, and the reason for that is we need to get out before this wind picks up even more. It's uh, straight, I don't know, sure how many kilometers, I think uh, 10 kilometers maybe of paddling this morning, uh, into the wind. So I thought this was going to be an east wind or, or calm and turns out we're paddling into a very stiff breeze. So need to get going and... Uh, reason for that is I need to get all the way down to uh, around to the Aurelia area and pick up a, a lumber mill and I need that this week to uh, mill up the rest of those timbers for the for the workshop so we really need to get going that's what's that maybe two hour drive from here an hour two and a half hour uh, yeah probably two and a half hour drive from here so got to get back out to the road which is going to take me probably three hours or at least in this wind and then two and a half hours to pick that up two and a half hours back so a long day but pretty exciting day anyway uh, if you want to see the uh, mill in a future video just make sure you subscribe or, or at least check in here regularly and see what I got and what I'm using it for and the reason I got it um, anyway finish packing up or almost finished packing up, just gotta put my cooking gear away. And we're gonna get up out on the water and get paddling.
Thank you.